the heart is an organ that needs a tremendous amount of amount of energy since it needs to beat during the whole life. In cardiomyocytes, they need to tightly regulate all the bioenergetic pathways that are going to generate ATP. A very interesting metabolic scenario that happens in cardiomyocytes happens uh, right after birth. Why? Because cardiomyocytes during gestation preferentially utilize glucose as major energy source. However, right after birth, they need to shift their metabolism towards our, an oxidative phosphorylation metabolism, mainly consuming fatty acids. Even though this process is very interesting and essential for ensuring postnatal life, very little is known about the molecular mechanism that governs fetal to neonatal metabolic transition. Our results that have been published in Nature uh, have demonstrated and have revealed a key me molecular mechanism uh, in the control of fetal to neonatal metabolic transition, specifically a uh, fatty acid which is contained in breast milk uh, and which is called gamma linolenic acid or GLA, is essential to act, essential to activate a protein called RXR, retinoid X receptor, in cardiomyocytes right after birth. So once RXR is activated by GLA, RXR is able to switch on genetic programs that are going to equip cardiac mitochondria with enzymatic machinery, which is needed to start to consume those fatty acids, ensuring not only the extrauterine beating, but also postnatal survival. This uh, research is a good example of a multidisciplinar project where we integrate multiomics technologies, genomics, proteomics, lipidomics with uh, imaging and with structural uh, biology techniques. Bioenergetic regulation is essential to sustain cardiac function and homeostasis during adulthood. Indeed, many car cardiomyopathies are caused by primary metabolic disarrangement. Our study shows that GLA RXR axis is essential to ensure an adequate metabolic programming in cardiomyocytes. Thus, it would be interesting to explore whether GLA RXR activation could be a feasible therapeutic approach against metabolic cardiomyopathies. This work has been focused mainly in the transmission of signals between the mother and the neonates, and the influence of these signals in cardiac energy homeostasis. But we think this is a process, is something much more general, and we believe that this is, we have discovered a mechanism of regulation of energy homeostasis in the organism from the mother to the neonate. In the further studies, we will uh, focus on understanding uh, this transmission of signals, mainly ligands that activate nuclear receptor, but also we will study how this affect in the adulthood and furthermore in pathological conditions like metabolic uh, diseases and cardiovascular diseases. This work has been funded by national and international uh, agencies, uh, the Ministry of Ciencia e Innovación, la Comunidad Autónoma de Madrid and the Mar La Marató Foundation.